Terra Luna Classic Price Prediction, Can LUNC Hit $10 in the Next Bull Market? The Terra Luna Classic price has dropped by 0.5% in the past 24 hours, with its current level of $0.00017176 representing a 2% increase in the past week and a 6% jump in the past fortnight. However, with its community still debating future improvements, and with the FTX collapse still weighing down sentiment, LUNC has dropped by 10% in the last 30 days. Assuming that the Terra Luna Classic community, its developers and validators can agree on a strategy for restoring LUNC to something like its former value, there's every chance that the altcoin could enjoy a strong run during the next bull market. On the other hand, division and disagreement may mean that it continues to stutter between recovery and further losses for some time to come. Lunx indicators signal a coin that has been on a decline for the past few weeks, with its 30-day moving average, red, still well below its 200-day average, blue. Likewise, its relative strength index, purple, has fallen to 40, highlighting a shift more towards selling in recent days. On the other hand, the fact that these indicators are near a bottom likely means that LUNC is due a rebound anytime soon. This may have begun just now, with the coin's slight upward shift in the past few hours potentially the start of a new short-term rally. Compared to a couple of weeks ago, LUNC is actually in a fairly decent position, largely because the start of the month brought news of Binance revealed the results of its latest LUNC burn. According to the exchange, it took nearly 6.4 billion LUNC out of circulation in the past month, something which caused the coin to rise by as much as 19% on the day these latest figures were revealed. As such, hope remains that Lunk's supply will continue steadily declining over the long term, with its price correspondingly moving up. To date, Binance has burned 13.7 billion LUNC, while the overall burn count for LUNC now stands at 35.7 billion. While the total supply of circulating LUNC remains as high as 6.87 trillion, there's the general assumption that quantities burned will gradually increase each month, as more platforms introduce their own burns and as usage of Terra Luna Classic rises, the protocol itself now carries out a tax burn of 0.2% on all on-chain transactions. That said, dissent and dissatisfaction have emerged in the wake of yesterday's approval of a proposal to send half of the 0.2% on-chain burn to a community pool for developers. The idea behind this change was to fund more development of the Terra Luna Classic network, making it more usable and attractive as a platform. Some community members believe this change will merely keep more LUNC in circulation, thereby undermining the effort to reduce supply and boost the altcoin's price. Such debate and disagreement highlights the big differences that exist within the Terra Luna Classic community. Much the same also apply to an earlier proposal regarding a merge with Terra 2.0, which would have enabled users to swap LUNC for the newer Luna. Given the extent to which there's a fundamental disagreement on how best to rebuild Terra Luna Classic, i.e. between boosting development and restricting supply, it's debatable as to whether Lunk's price will ever get close to whole numbers. Even with an increase to $1, this would require an increase of close to 600,000% over Lunk's current price. As for $10, this would mean a surge of about 5,800,000%. Bear in mind that, at the highest point of its resurgence in early September, when the tax burn was first announced, LUNC improved on its all-time low by only 51,000%. In other words, a 600,000% or even 5,800,000% increase over its current level seems highly ambitious and would likely necessitate a very long-term game. That's not to say it isn't possible, but with a total supply of around 6.873 trillion and a burn rate of roughly 12 billion LUNC per month, LUNC holders should begin by setting their sights on more achievable price targets.